Hello, light beams, and welcome to June. Let's enjoy this journey through June after so much chaos with all of the um, retrogrades and the eclipse season that we just moved through and everything that was behind us. June is coming in to, um, to give you a little bit of the wild and the wooly, but also a little bit of tenderness along the way. So let's dive right on in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and do all the things, and stick around to the end where I give you the four main, we'll call them frequencies, that are gonna help you to optimize the energy that's coming through for this June ride through. So June brings us, it is the sixth month of the year. The number six brings us the love of mother, it brings compassion, it brings grace, it brings the fertility of new ideas. So it's giving you this kind of soothing of the soul and also this inquiry of, of who you're becoming. The If we add all the numbers together, it gives us the 13, and the 13 is the number of the divine feminine. So there's a lot of mother feminine energy coming in through this June portal and really optimizing that um, the need for stability. It's time to stabilize and move into transformation. So that's kind of the overarching energy of June, stabilizing all the chaos that you've been through and really optimizing the transformation of who you're becoming, especially as we ride through summer and some of the astrology that's before us. So 13, the number of the feminine. If we add those together, it gives us the four universal number, which is the universal month of four is June. And so part of what the four brings us is brings us that stability. It brings us the opportunity to create the strong foundations to build something new upon, right? And so we go through a lot of destructive phases leading up into four energy. It's the deconstruction phase, which then becomes the ascension or the rise up phase of this. And this is where we are. So the four is also the number of the heart. It's the fourth chakra. Again, we have a lot of this number codes of nourishing, of stabilizing, of transforming. So make sure through all things to do it through the lens of love, have great compassion for the for self. And it's also about you bringing your highest vision, your highest wisdom to the earthly plane, like really anchoring in you as the cosmic being into this earth plane of experience. The four brings you the opportunity to really um, look at responsibility, which truly is your ability to respond. It brings in discipline, some organization, and it really urges us all to lay a strong, you know, get the groundwork for your service, for your desire for your future endeavors. It's bringing in a lot of this like stabilizing strong foundations for, for growth, for expansion, for transformation. Um, so take stock of your core experiences. Like really look at what's sitting at the core, your foundation. How are your relationships? How's your relationship with yourself, with your body, your um, emotional body? How are, um, how's your money? How's your career? The key to all of this, the most highly functional opportunity for you to navigate through this is your adaptability. Adaptability is the key. How quickly can you unlearn what it is you perceive or believe to be true and adapt to what is new. These are the foundations that are coming in with this four energy and you have all the love of the mother and the wisdom of the divine feminine as the highly intuitive being of knowledge coming through you so you can create these new core, these stronger core systems to build upon as the rest of the year moves forward. Let's move into the astrology. June 3rd brings you a super moon, a super Sagittarius moon. Sag always brings in the fire, brings in the big, bold, fiery you know, uh, celebration. It's just a big, you can expect the wild and the wooly to emerge through the third with all of that Sag energy and the full moon always brings in the light, the activation, you know, it always just, and, and wherever Sag goes, everything just expands. So you can expect this full moon to, to bring in the holy wow, wild and, um, and wooly, we'll say. Um, so the key, the opportunity is of course, to resist drama, to, 
be really clear in your foundations, your core values, your core principles keep coming back in. And it's easy to get kind of swirled up in the ignition of a Sag full moon, especially when it's a super full moon, meaning it's closer to the planet. On June 11th, Pluto's going to dip back into Capricorn. It's It had been in Capricorn for all of these years. It did its visit into Aquarius. It's going to dip back in for a little bit. Um, and then it's fully going to emerge in uh, January of 2024. And then it'll live in, that, in uh, the Aquarian sequence for about 19 years, I believe it is. So that being said, it's about boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. So it's about bringing your work life into balance, right? We also have the four of this num num numeral numerology of the four to support the foundations. And then this Jupiter dipping back into Capricorn gives you an opportunity to really have a, a clear look at what kind of foundations you want to actually build upon for the next 20 years, right? So, so be really mindful and let the full moon light of this kind of Sag energy, let it show, let it guide, let it show you what's out of balance. So you can bring in these new foundations of stability. June 17th, Saturn retrogrades. Saturn are, uh, you know, our, our conformist, our rules. Um, it's it being retrograde is going to make you want to just like let your hair down and again kind of that woolly wild energy it brings in the sacred rebel a little bit and that's that can be really in high service to you so ride through that 17th through that energy um to really explore like who are you where are you where are you maybe contracting too much and where could you find balance in your um and letting yourself kind of come out a little bit, be a little bit more um, spontaneous is the word that's coming through. June 18th, we move into Gemini New Moon. Um, that social butterfly of Gemini, right? The buzzing about and wanting to be out in the world and bringing all of these different, you know, the, the different personalities that Gemini holds within the, the one. Um, it might have you kind of dancing under the dark moonlight. So it's really interesting. It's a little bit of a contrast energy, which is what Gemini brings us, right? So it's that new moon, which is more of the yin style, but Gemini brings that energy of really wanting to be out. So what's coming through is you might find yourself wanting to be out and to be a little bit more social than a new moon would actually bring you, but it's about revealing the inner workings of who you are, who you authentically are. So let this moon carry you into greater connections, into greater expression of who you are at soul level and then on the 21st we have a super powered day because we move into cancer season cancer begins the can sign of cancer begins and we really you know it's that sweet cancer brings in the sweet energy more like that nurturing kind of energy it's it's you know it, it is the moon it is the yin it is the deep it's the, the water of the deep emotion but it can also have that hard shell right it can also recoil back and be a little crabby sometimes the cancer can so making sure to really nourish the soft nectar of yourself and it's also summoning in summer right it's bringing in summer it's bringing in that like floaty beach water sun um and bringing all that home into the core of who you are so what's within you, the shell of you that wants to be seen and explored and what's also interesting is it's also the day of the summer solstice so in the summer solstice we move into the greatest amount of light it's the longest in the northern hemisphere it's the longest day of light it's where we bring the light into its full expression summer brings us into the supercharging of our desires um, that we're really going to spend the rest of the year the next six months cultivating culminating bringing into fruition right with the love of mother with that six energy of june with that strong foundations and with the wisdom of the divinity of the feminine which operates as the intuitive so the bright light of summer the bright sun of summer moving into the full light to the full expression of who you are and who you're willing to become is really the biggest uh, essence that's available Available for us. So everything is supercharged, giving you lots of opportunity this month. Um, the four themes, the four frequencies that wanted to come through first and foremost was the divine feminine and to really speak to what does that essence mean. And remembering that we, we hold the feminine and the masculine within us, everyone. 
um, does, but the wombed ones, you know, hold a, an extra expression of the divinity of the feminine. So really the quest, especially in this month as we're building these strong foundations, is to come into balance with that. And and how what that looks like is to be really clear if your natural expression in the world is to hold more of the masculine, which is the going after, which is the, the figuring it out, thinking it out, you know, the hunting, the gathering, the where is it, what does what needs to be done, how's it gonna be? Or is it in that true feminine frequency, which the nature is to lean back? It's to be open, the open well of receiving. It's to intuit, to know, to connect with what it is that you desire and to open so that the universe can deliver it in a way that is in service of your highest and greatest good. It requires less of the mind and more of the actualization of the frequency of a body. So we all get to play in these realms because we hold both. And what's happening is we're in the evolutionary sequence of becoming new humans and of humanity is we really must move from embracing these concepts into the full embodiment, into the becoming. And it's a practice. And so begin with pivoting your energy, like our feeling as if you, you spill the energy into the back body, it naturally opens, it, it, it activates a curiosity. And the curiosity is the feminine way, trusting that she is supported in divine communion with both her masculine counterpart and also with spirit and the universal intelligence. So it is an opportunity at hand through this month of June, especially as the light of the summer solstice is being cast and the super moon comes in and it just really, it, sh it shines the light through the shadows of where there might be imbalance, right? Setting new boundaries, setting new strong foundations, getting to the core of who you're willing to be and become and really embodying these divine feminine principles. Number two is transformation. So as has been stated through the numerology and the astrology, it's a really transformative time. Now, this is no secret because you're a human being on planet Earth and holy wow, look at all the things that we are doing. It's like transformation at every corner, endless amounts of transformation, um, so much so that it can almost be exhausting sometimes, right? It's like, whew, it's a lot. It's a lot to be a self-governing, self-sovereigning and... Um, self ex in this exploration of self as higher self at this time but it is necessary and it's what your soul said yes to so allow transformation to occur attach to transformation wherever you are holding on to the old out of fear this is your moment to embody those feminine principles of surrender and really truly letting go and if you can't let it go, you let it be. And in the letting be, the transformation naturally occurs. We are in a transforming, transformative time, a transformational sequence. We are becoming new humans. That happens very personally and it happens globally simultaneously. Number four that wanted to come through was building blocks. It really brings us back into that um, concept, that knowing of the strong foundations. And it isn't always for us to figure it out, it's to reconfigure it from within, right? So we get out of the mind of always needing to know like, well, what needs to be done in this? And yes, there's 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 the balance of the two. The building blocks of creation are about you coming into a deeper understanding that you're in co-creation with the universe itself. And to build those foundations really um, to build them strong from the beginning, right? Strong and wide for our foundation so that the growth can be tall and expansive, right? The stronger, the wider the foundation, the, the higher the reach, the, the greater the creation has with the strong foundation. So what are the building blocks? What are your practices? It's time to get really clear about who and what you're creating and the fortitude, knowing that you have the fortitude within you, would not have the desire if the capacity and the availability was not also alive with you. And number four is pivot on demand. I've been speaking to this a lot and it, it it's what it's what's required. We think we're going in this direction and we're like, you're going over here and zoop, now you're over here. And so this this is about pivoting on demand. And to get there, you must attach to nothing and allow for everything, knowing that spirit has your back, knowing that everything's in divine order, knowing that your feminine principles, that the divinity of the feminine is about allowing and receiving. You're in a transformation um, 
portal and the building blocks are all here for you, allows you to pivot on demand, trusting that you're being held by, by, by God, Goddess Creator, by higher self, higher wisdom, and higher light. Let's make June an amazing month. Thank you so much for your service on the planet. Please know in all things, you are never walking this path alone. We are truly all walking each other home to the light. My love be with you. Have a great month.